What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. In today's video, we are heading down to FedEx. You guys should already know what that means. That means we are picking up brand new reptiles. You guys, we're not picking up one, we're not picking up two, we're picking up three brand new reptiles for the gecko room. I'm not gonna say much more than that. You guys should already be able to put two and two together and take a guess on what we are getting. But let's just say these are not no ordinary, ordinary reptiles. These are very expensive reptiles that we are picking up. I'm talking, we probably spent around $2,200 on these. So let's get in the car. Let's go head down to FedEx. Let's go pick up these awesome, awesome geckos. And then really quick before I actually head out, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update on the pond. You guys, we have, uh, we have some more bad news. Um, we lost some more fish. We lost two red tails and one of the bigger hybrids that we had. You know the big hybrid that we had in there? Well, unfortunately, you guys, they, uh, they are some, they're goners. We had a massive, massive ick outbreak inside of the pond. I don't know if you guys remember when Paul had his ick outbreak. This was like almost worse. I know Paul lost big, expensive, nice fish. I know my fish were just small and not as expensive as his, but like these fish, I woke up one morning, well, the night before I actually saw one of the feeder guppies that I had and it was covered in ick. So I, I quickly realized that I grabbed him, took him out. Um, next one I woke up and all of my catfish, you guys covered, just completely covered in spots. Like my one big hybrid, the one who didn't make it was like loaded. I mean, like he looked like a zombie fish. He had like this white slime coming off of him. And, and once I put him in treatment with the medicine, it got even worse. There was like just chunks coming off of him. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen. Unfortunately, Buddy did not make it. But we have our hybrid and we have our tiger shovel nose left. Those are the last two catfish standing. You know, it really sucks. This is literally like the fish gods. Hey, welcome to the game. Welcome to the game, Gio. Welcome to the game. It sucks. But I uh, quickly, I acted pretty quickly. Grabbed the setup from Paul. Threw some ick mess in there. Put all the catfish in there. Treated the pond on its own, emptied that about to maybe 150, 150 gallons. Treated the Paku and the two cichlids in there because obviously that tank is too small. It's only a 25 gallon. So we treated the pond, treated the catfish. Like I said, only two lived. And uh, let's just hope that, you know, we have no more problems with this pond. Hopefully we can uh, just do a nice big fish stock coming soon. And that'll be the last fish stock that we have to do. Hopefully no fish die. Hopefully everybody is healthy. But anyways, let's skip out on that. Let's get into the car. I'll see you guys when we are at FedEx. We are at the FedEx Ship Center. I'm going to run in here really quickly, grab the geckos, and we're gonna head over to Home Depot. We need to grab those pool noodle things for the cage. It is extremely bright out right now, but as you guys can see behind me, we have made it. We are at the home of the depot. Right now we're gonna go in here, we're gonna just look for these little pool noodle looking things. This is uh, my tour of Home Depot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just go in here, we're just gonna look around, we're gonna buy a grill, we're gonna buy some lights, uh, we're gonna buy a pool, maybe an umbrella. All right, so we had to make it into the plumbing aisle. Right now what we're gonna do, follow me. It's so, I think this is the one that we needed. Is uh, the four pack that we need. It's four dollars and uh, fifty-five cents. One of the cheaper Home Depot runs that we have uh, ever done in our life. We have gotten the box right here. We've got the little unboxing setup right here behind me. You guys, let's unbox this and see what is inside. Let's get this. I'm not gonna show you, I don't know if it says it on, mm. well, it does say it on that side, so you guys do know what's inside of the box. Of course, we got some new Crested Geckos, three new Crested Geckos, not cheap by any means, but it was a great price. It was an absolute steal for three of them. So, we're having some, we're having some technical, Sorry for the wait. There we go. We were having some technical difficulties with the box cutter. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See you later.
I need a drum roll, please. Please, please, please. So, really quickly, a big shout out to Caledonian Kings right here. You guys, Lichianis, Chihuahuas, anything you really need, they've got. So here is the moment of truth. We need to uh, take this styrofoam off. Okay, we got number three right up on top. I can't see yet, so I don't know if you guys can see through that, but with the angle I'm sitting at. Hi, mama. Yep, we've got one very beautiful, very, very beautiful lily white. Wow. Look at that. Holy cow. That is one very, very beautiful gecko. Hi. Hello. Dude. That is so, so awesome. So this is actually the female that is not ready to breed just yet. But is, like, look at that like red in her, in her head. You, you can see that on the camera. Look at that. So awesome. So if you guys couldn't tell by this little piece of paper, you guys, we have bought three female lily white crested geckos. So this piece of paper is basically just telling me what I have. Lily white number one, two, and three. Where they come from, their lineage when they were born. All that cool, exciting stuff. Let's just say the first one, absolutely beautiful. So that is female number three is what she is listed at. This is girl number one and holy smokes. I don't know what is up with, this is, might be the same kind of lineage maybe, but seems to me as both of these, both of these girls have like this red. Oh. Like this well, <laughs> that is a one awesome arboreal creature. You see how they jump from, this is how they do in the wild, is they'll jump from branch to branch. You guys, hello, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, holy cow, isn't she beautiful as well? We've got a jumper, let's just say that. She is super beautiful as well. This female is the one that is actually missing a little toe. So that is female lily white number two. Hi. So let's get her back up in her bin. So far, both the lily whites that I've unboxed look absolutely stunning. It's okay, get back in there. Oof. Boy. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. That one. That one is beautiful right here. Holy. Look at that yellow. That one right there is beautiful. Super, super beautiful. Holy cow. I honestly think this one might be my favorite that we got. Take a look at those yellows. You guys, we need name suggestions for all three. So this one is not like, these ones are a little bit more off-white and this one is like super bright white right on the dorsal. Comment some awesome names. We've got three new awesome, awesome geckos here. Behind me, we've got these awesome, awesome enclosures by Gecko Junkie. We are going to be leaving their cages pretty bare like I do with all my geckos when I first receive them. I like to um, I like to keep the cages pretty bare just so you know we could uh, inspect them over the next couple of days. So yeah, we're gonna quickly, we're gonna set up these, these three right here, throw some paper towel in there. We are going to cut some of that pool noodle and we are going to be adding these awesome, awesome geckos into their new homes. All right, so we are taking our paper towels. Now, before you guys say, if you guys see any of these cages look a little bit messy right now, Wednesdays are our cleaning days. So, tomorrow is, I'll be posting this video today, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow, all the cages will be cleaned. So, there we go. That is one set of paper towels going into one enclosure. That is three enclosures set up with some paper towels. Now to cut some of this. Now we just made kind of like a, take a little bit of an estimate right, right about there. So we're gonna take this, fully cut that, come up in with it. So this one is a little bit too, this one, garbage, right? We're gonna cut this one about right there, I'd say, to make that one. Let's see. 
much better. So you see that's more of a tighter fit in there. Say about that. Perfect, that is actually perfect. So now what we're doing is we're gonna wait for our plants to come in off of Amazon. They're supposed to come in tomorrow as well. So let's take female number one. There you go, look. Look at that. I know there's no plants in there yet, but tomorrow there'll be. So this is actually the one female that's missing her finger. See her little tiny finger right there? About just about the same, so probably about right here I would say. Lovely little female right here. There you go. There you go. Come on, go. Right on in there. It is uh, it is tight in here. That's why you guys need to uh, subscribe so you guys I can just get famous. Move into a big old house and have a uh, mansion gecko room. That is the goal one day. That is our last little pool noodle. Going right in. And following that is female number two. Look at her. Super, super beautiful. Let's get her right on in there. There you go, little girl. You go and take it easy. So, so awesome. That is the three... Brand new Lily White Crested Geckos going into their new homes. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a comment and don't forget, if you're new, to subscribe. Also, don't forget to smash those notification bells so you guys are in tune whenever I drop an awesome video just like this one today. You guys, I couldn't thank you all enough. We are almost at 11K subscribers. We have... Uh, we have just totally been riding out. It has been such an awesome journey. But you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video of me going to get these awesome new Lily White geckos. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys are tuned in with next week's video. It is going to be another banger. So you guys, that'll wrap it up, and I will see you on next week's episode. Peace out.